Okay, today we're going to show you how to install the dual inline TDS monitor for the Evolution 1000. Now the first thing you want to do is insert the white sensors fully into the top of the corresponding T-fittings. So there's two sensors. There's one sensor labeled in which measures the water coming out of your tap. So that's going to go on the feed line of your Evolution which is half inch. So you take your half inch T that comes with your kit and you install that into the end fitting right here. Now the out probe is going to measure the PPMs of your RO water. The RO water line on the Evolution 1000 is 3 eighths. So we're going to take the 3 eighths T and install the out sensor into the top of that. And the next step is to turn off your source water. So now once you've installed the probes into the corresponding T fittings, it's time to turn off our source water so we can install the TDS monitor. Okay, so we've turned off our source water, and now it's time to install the corresponding probes onto their proper lines. So again, the end probe, which is going to measure the PPMs of just your tap water, is going to go on the feed line, this white line here for the evolution. I got a pair of tubing snips right here I'm going to use to cut the line. It doesn't matter where on the line you cut it, just make sure you make a nice clean cut. If you don't have tubing snips, that's fine. You can use a knife or a sharp pair of scissors, it doesn't really matter. And take the two ends of the tubing, install them into the T. And now we're going to do the same thing on the product water line with the out probe right here. And again, the out probe on the product water line is measuring the PPMs of your RO water. These TDS monitors are great because you can monitor what the PPMs are coming into your system and going out to ensure that you have proper PPM rejection. All right, that's it. Now that these probes are installed, we can go ahead and turn our source water back on. Let that run for a little while. You know, I'd let it run for about 10, 15 minutes before you're really going to get an accurate reading. All right, now we got the water running, so we're ready to power up our TDS monitor and get a reading. So there's an end button, which measures the water coming in. As you can see, our PPMs coming in are about 224 here at the warehouse and the PPMs of the RO water are coming out right around 10, which is about a 96% rejection rate, which is really good. Typically with an Evolution 1000, you're going to get a 97% rejection rate, give or take a couple percentage points just based on different variables, but a 96% rejection rate is a good rejection rate. So we're good to go. Now we can mount this thing onto any flat surface by removing this red tape on the back. It's got a sticky pad right there, so you can just stick it onto any flat surface. You could even put it on the end of your housing right here if that fits you. If not, you could stick it on the wall behind your system, just wherever is convenient for you. And that's it. Have a good day, everybody.